HCAM TV Sports presents Hopkinton High School Football, where tonight, the 2015 first home game of the season happens, and it'll be the Westwood Wolverines in town to play the Hillers. Both teams one and one. Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Prate with Rick DeSena and our statistician, Charlie Belsito. And Rick, tonight, beautiful weather for the first home game of this 2015 season. Well, Mike, I know you and I both enjoy doing this, and when the weather's like this, first home game, the Hill of Grillas are out there. Looks like some of the band might be here tonight. Let's get ready to play. Uh, both teams, as I said, are one and one on the season. Rick, we'll talk about last year's team in that this team uh, for Hopkinton this year has to overcome the loss of several starters. In fact, there are only four returning starters on both sides of the ball for this Hiller squad. Yeah, and I, and I think from a coaching perspective, this is the, the years that, that make it enjoyable. You, you know, you, you, your leading passer, your leading rusher, your leading receiver, your leading whatever it is offensively is gone. So, you know, they have an idea. They practice every day. They get the strap up once a week. And, you know, things have been going okay so far. So now they got to take the next leap. They, they beat a team in Norton. Probably wasn't that strong. A little bigger test now in the Tri-Valley League Lodge with Westwood. Uh, some optimism for this Hopkinton team. Boston Herald this year, Rick had the uh, Hillers as the in the preseason preview, eighth in the Division Three Southwest Division, so it looked pretty good. They, their names appeared in the uh, paper. And also, uh, jo Josh Sokol uh, was named preseason EMAS All-Star team this year, so a couple of good things for the start of this season. Yeah, and you know, my thought about preseason stuff is forget about it, right? I mean, it doesn't really matter. You're eighth in the preseason. No, it doesn't it matters where you end up, not where you start. And, you know, sometimes I can give you a false sense of uh, security in the sense that you think something's going to happen versus going out and making it happen. As far as Josh Sokol, big kid, athletic kid, had a great wrestling uh, year last year as well. Uh, you look for good things from him in the middle of the line. Either a nose tackle or, or a tackle on the defensive side and as a center um, on offense. Yeah, the six foot two, 280 pound senior is the anchor on both sides of the ball. Uh, last year, Rick, these two teams met and it was a wild shootout where the uh, Wolverines came away with a 34 33 victory. The team coached by uh, Coach Manti. And uh, so you were there and you got to see. Uh, that Westward team. They have lost several of their players, and uh, so it'll be an interesting contest tonight. Yeah, they, they lose a Balooty, a Hanley, uh, some kids that had some pretty good athleticism and speed on that team. Um, but, you know, it's, it's true with everything. Hopping is rolling over players. Every year they do that. Westwood, you know, the bigger towns are a little easier to be able to plug in maybe better athletes because they have better numbers. But at the end of the day, you just got to go out there on the field and let it all hang out. Well, Hopkinton comes in, as I said, 1-1, one and one, and they got that way. They lost their first game to Whalen, 12 nothing, but then b rebounded last week in their first TVL game. They went down to Norton and beat them 35-14. In that game, starting quarterback Jay Kelleher was 16 for 27, 166 yards and two touchdowns. A pretty decent uh, night for the Hiller squad. No, right? no doubt, no doubt. They, they certainly were the better team. Um, they, I bet you if, you if you were in practice on Monday or Tuesday, um, when they came back and started getting after it, uh, they left a few plays out there, certainly offensively um, and maybe defensively as well. It's hard to know when you, when you at some point you start rotating some guys in. But um, I don't think they were all that happy with a, you know, it's hard to say that with a 35-14 to 14 win. Certainly in, uh, things that can be corrected, no doubt. Uh, the ground game will be led by Sam Lehman, the senior this year. Last uh, game against uh, Norton, he uh, rushed for 80 yards on 17 carries. He did get a touchdown. Well, we're moments away from the start of this ball game, and uh, we'll wait to see who gets it. Um, they have not determined who's got the flip. The referees are in the center field. Different look for the Hopkinton field this year. They got a nice orange and green H right in the middle of the 50-yard line. Yeah, I'm sure the field's a little dry. We've been very dry. I don't know what type of uh, irrigation we have, but I'm, I'm guessing it's not ideal right now because you can see a lot of brown spots on the field. Now, this is a TVL large game, and uh, Jake Jay Golden is the PA announcer. He's going to let us talk, uh, listen to him talk, rather.